Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Starpoint Gemini 2. Got the music cranked and I'm just going like crazy and I'm not sure how I'm coming through. But yeah, hopefully everything will, will be good today. So today I felt like let's do some Starpoint Gemini. Um, let's continue on with our, our DLC, with the Origins DLC, which is essentially Starpoint Gemini 1. So, we're in this starport here. What can we do? Uh, Captain Info, Fleet, Captain's Log, Menu. Cool. I'm going to mess with the sound because I think the sound is loud. So I apologize for that. Let's see, music volume. I have it actually quite low. Let's, let's pop these down a little bit as well. Okay, let's continue. We got the shipyard here, so purchase new ships in the shipyard. Look over the ships available for purchase on the available tab. Compare your current ship with one selected through the compare tab. Statistics and systems tab provide more details on the ships. Your current ship's price is reduced to 20% of its default value is also calculated. Oh yeah, sorry, reduce to 20% of the volume is also calculating the transaction. That's cool. Uh, ship systems are transferred to the newly purchased ships automatically. Cargo is also transferred as much as possible. That's kind of cool. Alternatively, you can purchase a new ship directly in your garage. Excellent. So here we go. So what's, where's our money? We got 55000 So we got our crappy ship. Uh, can we... Okay, I see. I can use my mouse wheel. Uh, so it looks like we need at least 500,000 for something like this. 800 hull or yeah, 80 cargo. I have no idea what this means. I'm not sure why this would matter to us. And then these are, I think, the various ship systems that are available. And that's what I mean. Like, this game is just amazing. Like, you can upgrade all this stuff. <laughs> Like that's just awesome. You can have different ships. They got sure there's ships that are already there. You got your own ship to compare it with. So we got a regular power core, a regular propulsion. We got a transporter. We got the shield generator. We got the sensors. We got the grappler. Then there's the light battery, which yeah, what the heck, heavy battery. So why were we getting that weird beam coming out of our ship? Was it using our mining beam? Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll have to experiment with that, with our ship here. Uh, let's see, what's this one? Dry dock. Shows, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna, who cares, we'll figure this out. So looks like we have to repair our hull. And then we need to rearm. Some ammo looks like we have. Um, Loadout. Um, I think we'll be able to figure this out. <laughs> so this is we got uh, Tesla. Here's beam weapon. So no, that is my weapon. It just sucks. Sucks hardcore, and it's a very short range. Then we have this one, the mongoose, which is a missile system, which has a much larger range, 815, whatever that means, 450 there. So. this one no heavy weapons and battery so do we just go unmount oh, okay ah, I see so we can buy new ones see this is what I mean so this is what I mean so you can figure this stuff out uh, I kind of like there we go, don't show training tips. We can find them right here with this question mark, so no big deal. We can always bring them all up. And we have them all in here, right? So yeah. <laughs> I'm just hitting next here. It's going through the, high, the display. So yeah, so we can learn the game, all about the game. So the game might be complex, but 
I don't know, so far I'm figuring it out, no big deal. A Hayato announcement, what's this? Um, okay. See, I don't even know what these are. Maybe there's enhancement slots that we could have. To enhance the system, left click desires to browse for available enhancements. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So these are enhancements for this particular system. Power recharge rate. See, so, so you can increase that. That's kind of cool. Oh, what's this? Systems. So we can probably buy new systems, right? Or we can sell old systems. Um. Oh, look at this! Some new stuff here that we can add. So probably like a super bowls, and then we can customize everything from our logo to our. Oh, it looks like our logo appears in the front here. You can change the ship name, so you can actually customize the ship further and look at it. Right? This is such a cool game, but I did click rearm. Why is it? Oh, maybe because it sold it. Because I, I took it off. Now I put it back on. Okay, so trader, what's this? So I guess we can pick up cargo and we can sell it. So on the other ship, this guy, 80 cargo. So it looks like we have. Uh, where is it? Where is our cargo? Cargo, where are you? Um, I saw a number. Crap, I saw a number for our ship. Uh, oh, yeah, under the trader, I think this is it. We have 45 slots. So basically, this next ship, Cavalier, 580,000, be 80 slots, 800 hull. But. Then there's this Aquila, which has better hull. Uh, but then, I don't know. So it'd be interesting to give this shot to try and like upgrade to a better ship and go from there. Okay. Um, personal armor. Uh, it's probably for. Uh, um, it's probably just for like boarding parties. Probably makes them harder. Uh, let's check the news out. So looks like there's Gemini news. Um, I guess if you wanted to learn about the Gemini planet name, suspends. Also, is it that uh, planet name? Where's planet name? I wonder. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Sometimes the game's bugged a bit. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how exactly this mimics. Starpoint Gemini 2 exactly or anything like that. All I know is I'm playing the DLC, so Yeah, um, so let's carry on uh, What's this hiring trooper thing? Uh, this is probably for like um, Taking over uh, What are these? So officers are probably good for These are probably different aspects of your ship. There's probably like combat. This is like the flight systems is navigation so we could put this uh, here we go radiation resistance ship system repair speed so you get those benefits by probably hiring them right interesting garage is empty so we could probably change reset skills and perks so it looks like we can change all of that stuff so where is our skills and perks would that be under captain info Finances. This shows us probably that we're losing money right now. <laughs> probably. Which is fine. Reputation. Yeah, I don't know. Very interesting, that's for sure. Uh, excuse me, I'm yawning. I am so professional, right? Uh, let's see here. Okay, that's kind of cool. So here we go, skills and perks. Ah, uh, okay. 
First level improved trading prices. Ah, oh, this is interesting. So you can really kind of customize your game as you level up. That's really cool. Okay, so where are we supposed to go now? Main. Ah, uh, this is probably what we're doing. Main mission. And there's side missions. Freelance. Okay. Uh, so, okay, so well, let's. Okay, well, let's just see. Let's let's leave and let's let's see what's going on. Okay, so let's. Oh yeah. Mouse is way better. That I my ship for at once. Yeah, because I can well. aim. Of course, but we don't actually have time for idle talk. We must make haste for Ghost immediately. I'll explain the way. Enter coordinates to follow my ship. Agreed. Helm, set course to follow the relativity. We had fun so far with these scientists. Who knows what more they have in store for us? Follow the relativity. Excuse me. <laughs> I must remember that you're just a soldier. 
at least Jaro will be happy to chat with you. Anyways, stay swift to talk to you, kept you hidden for 20 years, and then spread you out. Young and preserved, ready for what you do best, more fighting. Simple enough. Scientist with knowledge of all the books in the universe, and a sense of humor too. Where do they make miracles like you? And who is this general? General? A unique figure, so to speak. You'll meet him eventually, no question about that. And I do believe you two shall have quite a story to explain. One more thing, Dr. Scott. On the station I overheard you mention the Revenants. Who are they? All the ships and crews pulled out from rifts are called Revenants. You're one of them. Hmm. Sometimes they're released from the rift field naturally, but lately we have perfected a way to locate and pull such ships into normal space manually. However, Extracted crews are sometimes less normal than the space around them, unfortunately. <laughs> what do you mean? Enough talk, Captain. There is time for everything. We are almost at the T-Gate. If the rogues are still in the ghost sector, we should get the chance to see a demonstration of your knowledge too. Just keep close. Nice. Now I'm gonna go into Captain my op- Captain Scott, we have identified Archimedes' last known position. We are moving to its set. It's my options, and I wanna know... Um, there needs to be a boost. Max speed Y. Maybe I need to press the Y. So if we go continue. No, I'm trying to do the boosts. Weird. Let's go back into our options. Uh, and it's full stop. I thought there was a way of boosting. Launch board. Let's get back up to the top here. I apologize for this. Usually I'm more on the game here, but. Yeah, I don't see it here. Maybe there is nothing. Maybe it's just flying. Let's go continue. We're going full blast anyways. So now there's a point to go to. Is that attacks coming in? Oh, bang, look at that. They're fighting each other. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, no thank you. Don't want to be involved with that. Sorry, folks. Shoot. Yeah, no. Um. Whew. No, don't come after me because I don't know how to fly faster. No, 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 no. Um, how do I change the camera? Oh man. This is scary. I want to see where it is. Um, how do I change the camera. I can use my mouse for this. Um, uh, they're not red, so... Um, I want to change the view. Huh. Okay. Well... Just saw the ships get, or not saw, but heard the ships get whacked. So I'm glad that we're able to carry on here. Be able to slow down here, probably. Step aside. Our equipment is by far more advanced. We should scan this debris. You just stay in. Our scans indicate this ship is not the Archimedes. 
Checking energy signatures. Yes, this is the hull of the shark. I'm detecting no survivors and no escape pods. They were finished past them. And the Archimedes? Scan broad scale frequencies. Mr. Willem, pay attention to background radiation and any strange wave peaks. Scanning. Got something. An SOS signal, but very weak and erratic. It almost follows the exact emission pattern of a loss. Oh, there we go. Relativity. I'm picking up several more direct signals. Man, why is there battles right here? Positions and directions. <laughs> we need to come closer for accurate reading. What's going on here? Well, then, talk to me. I'm a scientist. I hate being in the dark. The distress signal is definitely from the Archimedes. She is damaged with barely any propulsion, and there are three more ships in the vicinity. They match the rogue signatures from previous attacks. What are we waiting for? Let's engage them. Wait. Is the Archimedes under attack? No, sir. Rogues appear to be still searching for her. Two groups are in slow search formation, scanning the immediate end. Okay, let's move fast. Captain, this is your show. Lead the we shall engage the single ship first. Follow <laughs> me. Oh, shit. Destroy the flagged rogue ship, hey? What the heck are the controls, man? Like, I'm, I'm trying to target Ships, uh, chase camera, okay. Camera zoom in, out, oh, not pad, subtract, and add. Uh, maybe that's my problem. So you can't actually turn it. Okay, so then what about, so right here, target, next enemy, Z. Okay, so Z. Target nearest enemy, R. Target lock is mouse one, so it's left click. Fire heavy uh, light weapons is right X. Okay, see max speed accelerate decelerate. I don't see anything here with boosting Maybe there's no boosting. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game uh, What's this? Oh, no, I don't want that rogue satellite. Ah, I'm clicking Okay we can actually use the mouse to control. It's almost better to use the mouse. Very close to that satellite. This area is expected to be very hostile. Oh, of course. Of course, of course. Threat impossible, that's funny. Oh man. I don't even know how to boost. Hostiles confirmed in sensor radius. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. It's gonna be rough. Let's catch up to this buddy here. Slowly converging on him. Come on, come on. I'll have to figure out what the boost is. Oh shit. It's gonna suck. Oh, I see, I see, here we go. It's the range. Firing missiles. Bang. Sucks on this ship. Come on. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Take this, buddy. Take this. There we go. Beam the buddy. Beam. Eat my beam. Oh shoot. 
How'd you get the HUD up? I need to get that HUD up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's just shooting at me. Okay, how about we just do another... Bang. I'm just firing. Come on, dude. Come on. It's take forever to die. I need a bare weapon. System damage. Just gonna speed up a bit. This is hilarious. <laughs> Why would you guys want to watch this? <laughs> oh, that's right up his ass. Let's let him get ahead a bit. Oh, I didn't run out. I ran out of power. That's funny. I recharge. Man, it's brutal. Brutal. Come on. Enemy down. Yay! What an awesome tool of destruction, Captain. No wonder a generation eventually managed to find the entire Jedi. You're naturally gifted for this. I'm glad, but it isn't over yet. Lock on the second group and engage. Concentrate maximum fire on the lead ship and attempt to disable their engines. We must stop them. Wow. Hmm, people, if you're not too busy, these rogues finally found me and they do not like my ship configuration much. Could you perhaps make your way here before they change the very description of Archimedes? Really? Your tongue is still unmatched, but I'm glad to see you in one piece. Our new friend here and I will be at your coordinates shortly. Uh, HUD basic. HUD radar. Maybe, ah, oh, here we go, movement combat. Turn left, turn right. Pitch up, pitch down, roll left, roll. Yeah, we know those. Yeah. Uh, move the mouse around the screen to turn your ship to the desired direction. Of course, your flight is active, so space key. To mouse selecting, allowing you to select and use your HUD commands. Okay, that's interesting. Turret view allows full 360 view around your ship. Fire ships back. I'll turn you can switch between different with the tab. Okay, we have to try that. Yeah. Fire weapons uses ammo. Target lock and press X. Uh, it's one turret. Yeah, okay, this is just explaining. Fire will command. My weapons are automatically oh, choose targets to fire at them if they're in range. Be careful, strong points might require more concentrated firepower. By pressing R. Okay, cool. So there we go. So the boost, do we know what the boost is? Did I look that up? Uh, no, but there's a, a targeting mode and there's a selection mode. Ah. Targeting mode, so this is the normal mode. Okay, and then selection mode. So this is... Okay, I see. Unless I don't have a boost. Unless this is just what it is. It just kind of sucks, because you want to go faster, right? You want to kind of go... I remember there being like a warp um, in this game. So I was hoping maybe in here, but we didn't see that. Uh, 
Just kind of doing a quick check through here. Ah, not sure. Interesting. Um, I'll have to figure that out. I'll figure that out for the next video. But yeah, but anyways, let's carry on here. I might edit out these parts. Transferring all available uh, power to engines. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, there we go. Silly me. I have to actually transfer power to the engines. Oh, man. Hostiles confirmed in sensor radius. No wonder. I'm being a derp. If we would get here in time. Here we go. Woo. Woo, slow right down. Let's go to combat speed here. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna run out of this stuff, unfortunately. Basically, this is combat. Flying around. Just. Hitting each other. Ah! Hitting each other. Let's get closer to this bugger. Ah! Get out of my way. You're out of your way, Captain. I think we're out of weapons. Wish we could kind of do... There we go. Come on, come on, come on. We're going to use our combat abilities here. Let's use this one. Why not? Spin maneuver. Come on. Oh man, this is so annoying. up a bit so we can get closer. Come on. Okay. Uh, I'm coming up really close because I want to see kind of why. Target okay. Eliminated. There you go. Imagine the rudeness. Those thieves even tried to board my ship. Now I suggest we make our way out of this sector. There are too many unfriendly visitors for my taste. They already doomed both ships from my group. And you, <laughs> Captain? I'm glad to see you in action again. I hope you're getting used to living in our world now. Actually, it is not too different from the one I remember. Only the names of ships that shoot at me are changed, and little else. We found remnants of the shark. Where is your second ship? 
Luxor was badly damaged in the first strike and tried to reach the nebula with me after Shark was blown away. But she was too damaged, and with no propulsion, we had no choice but to evacuate surviving crew to my ship and use the abandoned derelict as a decoy to buy us some time. At least that succeeded. Cool. We appreciate your help in our fight, Captain. You could really prove to be a true asset. Do not bother the Captain with politics. He's still adjusting to his new reality. No, no, no. I want you to be direct with me. I can't understand anything for keeping me out of the loop. He is right. We owe him that much after all the help he's given us, and we could need much of his services in the future. Really? His help? He was useful on a few occasions, but are you forgetting that his expression cost us two ships along with an entire crew? ships for the salvation of one? Where's the logic in that? I think you should choose your assignments more carefully. Excuse me? Aren't you both scientists? I thought you extracted me for purely scientific goals, and because it was the right thing to do. Oh, yeah. We do have hearts of gold, but we also live in a real world. I see. You still don't remember everything from your life 20 years ago. Exposure to time and space suspension you have suffered inside Rift can sometimes have that effect. You will probably remember eventually, but our time now is limited. We need to update you with the most important events. By all means, I still have a feeling both of you know much more than you're telling. Dr. Scott told you about Revenants, right? There is more to that story. You and your companions are not very welcome in our world. You are considered by many as relics of time long gone. They believe you are armed and dangerous and unable to accept current political formation in Gemini. I don't even know what current political formation is. Not yet, but you did fight for a united, independent Gemini, and today it is everything but united. Some fear you would continue your fight against existing governments, just as you fought the Directorate years ago, while others hope you would do exactly that. So, Revenants are in some sectors kind of like beasts, while in others they're just not liked much. Many of you hold secrets and knowledge we're trying to forget today. I want to see if Why can... don't get the feeling you're referring to me? Indeed, Mine is... Secret is actually your middle name. During the War for Independence, you were a member of a special unit attached to the Gemini League fleet. Your domain was espionage, surveillance, and secret technology testing. Therefore, you would probably be a vast source of intel many today would pay dearly to get their hands on. Many? Perhaps someone special? Perhaps someone you're familiar with? So many questions. Captain, we're not your enemy. That is sufficient for now. But you shall learn in time where you can put your trust. Captain, I must dock with Tesla Station at once for repairs. Dr. Scott will be accompanying me for a debriefing later. You, in the meanwhile, are free to roam around a bit. I'm also sending you some additional data you can find interesting. When you are ready, find us at the station. Ridley out. Okay. Gain level five. So is that the next main mission? So now we. So this is the station. So let's look at our map. Ah, okay. So Saskatchewan. Really solid. So this must be. Okay, so this must be the the map of Starpoint Gemini. Or Starpoint Gemini 2, or whatever this this mod is. So, cool. That's uh, that's really exciting. Factions, regions, T Gate, Wormhole, Riftway, Nebula. Okay, we can kind of. Okay, that makes sense. So we're probably traveling through the clouds down here. Okay, so that's cool. So let us head. Uh, nowhere. Um, what can we do here? What's this box? This blue box here? Let's fly towards it here. This area is expected to be very hostile. Really? The Tesla station? Expected to be very hostile? That... Hostiles confirmed in sensor radius. Wow. Where? Over here? Okay, I'm getting you some. Check the star chart. New missions are available. Star chart. What new missions? Um, map. 
Are these movie point toggle event markers? Tesla. Unless these are the ah uh, freelance rescue, freelance capture, maintenance. Ah, uh, I see now. What if I don't want to do any of these? Capture, maintenance, rescue. Let's go check the base. Um, let's just go check the base. We need to refill our ammo and whatnot. But why do I have shield systems all around me? See the... That's so weird. Understand that, folks. What's this? Crew of sixteen, eh? Hey? Map. Uh, location observatory, Chris. She generally League offers reward for the capture of a local freelancer. Oh, how do you capture ships? Assistance required. Assistance mark ship. Destroy nearby hostels. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's go back to the station and call it an episode and we'll go from there. I think that's what we'll do. And then we'll figure this crap out here. So let us do that. I'm going to fly towards the station here. So these must be all ships. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Let's get to the Nexus here. And anomalies reports of hostiles in the area. Yeah, this is weird. This game is very interesting. There's all kinds of neat, fun stuff. Now when you see this anomaly thing, there's something you can find that you can scan. I just don't know exactly what that is. But, hey, this is a space game, right? Let's see, where what is this shooting at? Let's go after this guy. For the heck of it. Come on. Let's watch the shields. Enemy ship destroyed. Did I get any experience for that? Any loot here? Ah, okay. Can we do anything with this? Um, okay, I'm just gonna check my options quickly here. Because I'm curious. Grapple target, that's for boarding. Uh, let's see here. Or do we just run into stuff? Do I have to shoot the derelict? Uh, let's see here. Collect all. Let's just see. Okay. Let's see what that does. Collect all. So how about if we shoot the derelict? Don't know why the shields are doing what they're doing. Maybe I'm damaged. Yeah, look, the derelict is slowly... So we definitely need to upgrade our guns. That's a must. Alright. There we go. Hopefully we're not too close to be damaged. Ah, here we go. Collect all. There we go. Now we got some cargo. Cool. That's cool. Look at what we picked up. <laughs> uh, where are we? Where is the station? Um, station, station, where are you? Here we go. Let's get to the station here. Let's go. Matching planar alignment now. P for planar alignment. Just kind of. There we go. That helps a lot. And let's anchor. 
Perfect. Here you go, folks. So there you go. There's me derping around in Starpoint Gemini 2 with the Origins campaign. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to go with the flow of the episodes, but hopefully you had a good time on this adventure with me. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye, folks.